Hello. Hi guys. My name is Tatiana. My name is Angel. And we're the Makers HQ. We're a married couple who bought a sublimation machine this year, actually a heat press this year, and now we're testing it on as many things as possible. So uh, before we get started really quickly, I wanted to thank everyone because we have 427 subscribers <laughs> and we are like, oh my God, it's crazy. crazy. We just, we want to thank you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Yes. And we're going to continue to bring you as much stuff as we learn as we can. Right. Okay. So today's video is all about HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl, but particularly about Caesar Easy Subli, right? Easy yes. Subli. Yes. Okay, so we did a video recently um, and it was about sublimation on dark t shirts. And what happened was that we didn't realize that uh, the brand that we got, which was uh, Moritsu V Subtex, was not a brand that was easily accessible in the United States and outside of Buenos Aires, which is where we're from. Well, which Argentina. We is Argentina, yeah, so, yeah, which is where we live. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically we wanted to do something because we got so many questions and we wanted to do something with Easy Subly because we never tried it before then. And that was the first time that we had even tried uh, the other type of vinyl, and right? It's, it's good that they also sell it here. Easy Subly is yeah. sold uh, here. Exactly. So, um, and the other brand is not sold outside. There, exactly. And it's, it's, all, it's the same video, but now we just want to clarify that uh, how, why we did it in the first place, that we didn't know about Easy Subly. Now we know about Easy Subly because of the questions that you guys asked. Exactly. Basically. All right. All right. So, yes. basically, let's get cracking. <laughs> okay. So, here we had the, the sheet of uh, Easy Subly. So we have to say that we bought this, but we bought like three, three sheets, right? And they didn't come in a box. So we trust that these are Easy Subly. That's what they advertise on, on their website, um, which is the, the equivalent of Amazon by here, which is Mercado Libre is called. And I don't think they lie or anything. I'm just saying that we didn't get the brand, but I'm gonna- It basically came loose. Yeah, it came loose, exactly. So I'm gonna, anyway, I'm gonna screenshot uh, their advertisement and I'm gonna just show it to you. So I'm sure it's, it's uh, uh, easy supply. Okay. Um, and then this is the, <laughs> this is, no, it is, it, it should be, it is. And also it feels different than the one it that we did. In the, the yeah, it, it feels uh, um, lighter. Yeah, it does. Nicer actually. It does. This is the t-shirt. The t-shirt, it doesn't matter whether it's uh, uh, polyester or cotton. This one is uh, 70 um, cotton and 30 uh, poly. The thing is that it's a dark color. So no matter what fabric it is, you can add sublimate on it. That's what we're gonna do with this. And then that's the design, right? So based on the instructions that we saw, yes. that we, they recommend, uh, we need to peel the plastic off. Let me get that. The, um, so what you do is, you grab it from the corner, right? Well, Here. if or, I may just interrupt yes, fast as you peel, um, it's going to be a two-step process. So we're going to actually tack on the vinyl first yes. because we're not printing directly onto the vinyl. And then we will sublim do the sublimation on top of yes. that, right? So Because if you watch the video that we did before from the brand from here, what we did is we press the vinyl with the plastic on mm -hmm. it once we press it for five seconds, no, 10 seconds, yeah, I think it was we seconds. peel the plastic off after we press it. In this case, this is different. According to them, you have to peel the plastic off first and then press it. Yeah. That's the only difference. So that's what we're going to do now. Do you want me to peel it? Yes. Uh, I just want to press this for five seconds. So we're going to press the t-shirt just so that we can get all the wrinkles out while I'm peeling this. And I don't know if um, there's a way to perhaps look for different brands that do this type of vinyl that you could sublimate on. But it's funny because they each feel different. Like the other one that we had, I mean, if I think about it, it doesn't feel that different. Like it feels like vinyl. I would have to touch both of them at the same time. Okay, so now we're gonna tack this easy sublead down. We took off the um, 
protective sheet mm -hmm. and it has a dull side and it has a shiny side, which I don't know you can see on the camera. One mm -hmm. is shinier. Oh yeah, this that's perfect. Is shiny. shiny. And then and that one is dull. Is yeah, you can see it. Okay, yeah. perfect. And so it's shiny side down, which to us is quite surprising, but it's shiny side down. Yes. Okay. Shiny side down, like this, and you leave the mat up once it's in the middle and you press it for three seconds. For about three press seconds. It for three seconds. Yeah, just to tack it down. Yeah. And it's going to stick to the fabric. So three seconds. Here we go. One, two, three. That's it. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay. So now, this is, as you can see, this, from what I can feel, this is better than, than the one that we did last time. Yeah, me too. I it's like better. the way it feels. Easy, subly, makes sense in this case. Like, it's nice. And also, this one is matte, so it's not shiny. I mean, it makes it's, it doesn't make sense what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the other no, one was shiny. No, the other shiny, one was shiny, shiny and yeah. it wasn't cool. It so didn't look good. So this is the design that we're gonna do on it. We're gonna make on the thing. This is and very rock and roll. Yeah, and you can even tell if it's like flipped, but it, it was mirror. Like either way, this this face looks like the same. Right? <laughs> so we're gonna put it right here, and then this you're gonna press it as a any sublimation project that you have. Like the, so the minutes change. are like. The seconds we're gonna do 35, no, I will do 40, 45 seconds, because okay. this is math. No, 40 seconds. 40 seconds? Yeah, 40 seconds, uh, 200 uh, Celsius or 395 Fahrenheit. But always look at your own paper for Always, always look. So here we go, one, two, three. Yeah. Two, Back. one. Let's see what happens. I okay. have the helper, so I have the sheet out. So let's see. Woof. Smoke. And, uh, oh, wow. Oh, it came out gorgeous. Beautiful. Wow. Look at this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm surprised. Like, the video that we did before was cool, but this one is, like, insane. Oh, my God. Wow. It's so good. Okay, so the only criticism I have is because this is a black or a dark T-shirt. Next time, I think we should, in order to get a really cool look, so that it makes, because I guess we cut a little bit too thin. Always. Would be, <laughs> would be to um, just make the sublimation paper maybe like a tiny yeah, bit bigger yeah, yeah. so it can go onto the shirt and do yeah. like a full bleed in a sense. But apart from that, that's me it's and my design eyes. Awesome. It's, it's super awesome. nice. Look. It's awesome. And it's, awesome, um, awesome. I like better than it the It feels, other yeah, it feels nice. See, that's what I was saying too, that vinyls, I don't like them because they don't feel good. Yeah. But this feels nice. I can see like why Easy Please. Subly is a little bit more expensive. Yeah, no, because it's recommended. Like, yeah, it's super nice. The it matte feels finish good. feels super good. Yeah, and it's it it feels plasticky, but it doesn't leave a texture between the fabric. No, it it does, but not like no, 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 the, no, the no, other no. one feels like you st you glue it on it. Yeah, this yeah. one it stayed on. Yeah, yeah. This one is more like. Didn't blend, obviously, because you know. No. But it's it's nice. It's very nice. Uh, easy subly. It's and I wait, it's, I don't really do. It, this wasn't supposed to be a comparison video, but I'm gonna show uh, the difference. So if oh, okay. <laughs> so if you see here, for instance, like this is the other one, right? And yes, it's not completely covered. This was just a test that I did, but you can see that it shines versus the Easy Subly, the white doesn't shine the same way, doesn't catch the mm -hmm. light the same way that this does. So I think that that makes a huge difference yes. in the way that your clothes feel. Yes. And in even the though way this one, they say they have a matte. Uh, they do. Version. So it would be so interesting we don't know the to matte, try the matte. But no matter what, this this one feels better, matte yeah, or feels shine. Nice. This feels shiny, like it's on feels top. Feels better because yeah, this one feels like you s just glue it on. And this but feels this, like a silk screen. Yeah, almost. exactly. I'm surprised. No, I'm pleasantly nice. surprised. Oh, we should check. I'm pleasantly surprised by how it feels and how it came out. Mm -hmm. Super good. Yeah, I really like it. Okay, so let's do a tiny. Uh, other project, well, it's the same in the same vein. I wanted to do something very small on my jacket, 
uh, to see how it would come out, like a patch. So I chose the uh, Jean-Michel Basquiat um, crown to put here. And I think in the later video, I'll add more to the jacket. But for now, I think it's super cute. So let's do that. Okay, so my project was to do um, the, a crown, like a patch on the front. But now I just saw the size of the crown because for some reason, uh, me and Scale lately are not BFFs. We're not friends, so I'm always doing uh, things a little bit larger when it comes to sublimation than I imagined. And so I decided to uh, instead put it on, on the sleeve, right? And so my idea is to put it on the sleeve. So I just removed some lint from it. I'm going to press it for a few seconds. This is a very difficult piece because it's a made garment. And so it's not like so obvious. And I, oh, it's a little bit wrinkled. So let's see. All right. So basically being able to put it on the sleeve of the jacket, right? I put a piece of tape where I want it to end and um, I'm going to put something inside of the sleeve so that I can press it without having the seam of the sleeve come through, which is a trick. You pe some people buy little cushions for inside and they put it and you can, but you can also just pe put a piece of fabric or pu put a, a garment and it's going to fill it up. And it's the same idea. So I'm going to press this real fast to see the pressure. So the pressure is a medium pressure. We did press it. And if you could please give yes. me my crown. This is the crown. Tiny, tiny. Okay, so first I'm going to press the vinyl. Yes. What is it? Uh, it was with the crown. So it might be under the paper. Let me peel. Okay. So it's basically going to go here at this point. I don't, um, because this is just a personal project, I don't really care if it's straight or not, but I'm going to make it as straight as possible to the bottom. So parallel parallel to the bottom as much as possible, like this, okay? And then I put a piece of tape here, just so I can see where it ends. Are you able to do it? Mm. It's kind of hard on the, these tiny ones to... Yeah, it's like to find the color, oh yeah. Okay. Shiny down. Shiny side down. The shiny side down. There you go. I will take the tape off. Oh, and I'm going to put it on this. So you want to... Yes, please. Press it for three seconds. Yes. Yeah. And this is the t-shirt, guys. <laughs> One, two, three. That's, That's it. it. Okay, so I need the paper in a second. Mm -hmm. So now, doing a regular sublimation, I'm gonna line this up here. I know that there's gonna be a little bit of white. There might be, because I didn't cut it smaller, but that's okay. Like this. I mean, I didn't cut, cut it bigger, but I'm okay with that. The paper. And this is just regular uh, sublimation. Exactly. 40 seconds, 35, whatever you... Uh, Your paper yes. requires. Okay, so. Mid okay, here we are. Let me see my crown. Hmm. Woo! Oh, wow. Super nice. Super nice. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I think it might be in the design, or maybe. Yeah, I think it's in the design. Yeah, because there were some parts that were dark. Wow, looks super nice. I really like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do the recap. Super I'm gonna nice. as I try this on doing the recap. Put it on since we did so much today. I think it's a little hot oh, for me to put on. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, wow, look at this. Super cool. 
Did it take? Yeah, all of yeah, it of took. Course. It took everything. It yes. feels weird. It feels weird because it doesn't feel like a vinyl, like how you would expect a vinyl to mm -hmm. feel. It feels like paper. That's weird. Yes. Right? But it blends with the fabric. It's, it's I don't know how to call it. I mean, it looks anything but plasticky. It yeah. doesn't look plasticky. It doesn't look like you added plastic on your fabric. It looks like not part of it. I don't know. It looks like look? it's super nice. Yeah? Yes. So this is mine, my design, which I shall so nice. swag it out. <laughs> and I had a design. Which looks amazing. Super cool. So, easy subly, very nice. Um, we should show the, the catastrophe. Yes, so there. we didn't show this as we were doing it. Um, we didn't show it as we were doing it in the video just because we were in shock. But we did mess up the first time that <laughs> we did it. Um, instead, of it sub instead of it going onto the t-shirt, it, it actually went, went onto the paper, which is why I, we were in shock because I was mostly in shock. Like, I can't believe we almost messed up the machine type of shock. Yeah. And Angel was in shock. Like, why is this on the paper? <laughs> so we don't we didn't show it because me personally, I didn't want to get people confused about the steps. But now that everything that has been said and done, <laughs> so <laughs> exactly this. What happened is that the video before from the, the vinyl that we got here from the Moritsu, you, we had to put the, the shiny part, the shiny side up, press it and peel the plastic off. That's all it was. This one, it, we thought it was the same. We peeled the plastic off and we put the shiny part side, the shiny side up and press it. Big mistake. It happens, it, what happened is that it got, I mean, it stuck to the paper that we used to cover the, so we realized that we had to put the shiny part down. So for easy subly, shiny part, shiny side down, down. and then you cover it. Shiny and what, side down. What's yes. worse about that is when I was watching videos, you know, from Caesar America, I saw that uh, it seemed like he put the shiny side down, but he didn't say it. So the person didn't say it. So I was just kind of like, in my eyes, I was like, uh, this seems like what I'm thinking, he put it down. But then I was like, why would he not mention it? So I just went with what we've seen in the past. And that was and a big mistake. Look, oh, maybe we could even salvage it. Oh, no, no that's it. that took care of that. So no, it was a... Uh, now I'm on happens. a mission to salvage this the, tiny piece of thing so I could make myself more patches. I know. Because so it's not only expensive in the, in the States, it's also expensive here. Yeah. It's here. And here they sell it by sheets. Yeah. Not even you can buy a, a, a huge pack. box. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I mean, uh, if I were to recommend this product, I do recommend it 100%. I, it's a subly, if, yeah. If you can afford it, if yes. it makes sense for your business, if it makes sense for your product, yeah. like you can see and you can feel the difference. And yeah. I would definitely nice. purchase something that had like this feel to it. It feels like, it feels like silk it screen. Feels, yeah, it feels super cool. It feels, yeah, it feels like ink more mm -hmm. than it feels like vinyl. So, so you yes. like it? Good, easy subly, HTV, yes. Shoot. We'll see you on the way out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh my gosh. So much work. So much work yeah. and so much fun as <sighs> always. So um, I hope this, this video brought you value. If yes. it did, as always, please feel free to leave us comments or questions and we'll answer to the best of our ability. Yes. We're not experts, but we're trying mm -hmm. and we're learning and we're teaching or we're showing as we go. As we okay? go yes. So if this video brought you any value, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you. Bye guys.